and welcome back to the latest edition of Let's Make Liberia Bigger Part 2. As you remember, we have three goals during this let's play, three short-term ones, three long-term ones. And the first short-term goal that we raised is that we want to colonize a little bit around us. So that when Western powers do start really cranking up their colonial gears, we have a little bit more space for ourselves. And that's what we're working on right now, as well as curbing the power of landowners. And as you know, landowners, they're against any sort of progress. We don't like that. So we're trying to pass a law that would enact appointed bureaucrats. And now the landed aristocracy wants to preserve hereditary bureaucrats because that makes them stronger. And that's why we hate them. They're against everything that's good. So, last time we started uh, researching Guinea, which will allow us to colonize much faster. Probably that means that our colony in Guinea will get abandoned so that we can reset the timer. Although this could have been patched already and perhaps the timer automatically gets faster after our technology. Although I'm not holding my thumbs here. So, let's continue uh, expanding our infrastructure and resource production especially and right now we have really good prices on these resources wood is generally needed for everything and for our industry here as well right now we slowly see some reduction in the cloud of the land owners but it's not enough on the other hand intelligentsia we became considerably stronger that is good that is something we really like uh, industrialists a brand new class Mixed luck so far. Let's pause and see. Uh, a donation of knowledge. Alexander Gooding has offered to spread some of their personal wealth to fund the creation of a university in Liberia. Though this will likely give the industrialists some influence. That's a great idea and I would love to have that. Uh, actually, yeah. Why not? Let's see if that bankrupts us because these universities are very expensive. Let's see, there we go. Yes, it is going to be around 1,000 when everybody is hired. So that's quite a big hit to our finances. However, seeing that we still have considerable gold reserves, I'm not too worried about it. Additionally, it will improve our research rate and our literacy rate, hopefully as well. I'm not entirely sure what is the output. Okay, so a bonus or penalty to qualifications. All right, so we get more qualified people, I assume. Uh, we get more innovation and urbanization. That's good. I'll look at that. We have an urban center, finally. Um, urban centers can be improved as well. Instead of market souls, let's have market squares out of that for a change. Uh, gas streetlights, loving it. Public trams. Not available yet. Coming soon to the urban center in Liberia, which is Svedro. Right, um, let's make sure that we still have something in the queue. So we're going to expand our tooling workshops. After that, um, let's see if we can see what we would. We do not, in fact. Okay, large numbers of Afro Caribbean people have begun migrating to our state of Liberia. Ooh, that's going to be very strong. Although, they might get discriminated against, which is not something I'm happy about. Let's see if we produce enough food. Just about. Um, just to keep the prices low, I, I think I should expand our uh, melee farms. So let's do that. Ah yes, the trade unions. Not having much to trade. Wait, right? Trade unions, that's what you do. Or are you the workers? Of course you get the workers. But did bourgeoisie with their fascist ideas are still quite low on the cloud. Um, and just as I say that, suddenly they explode. Well, as long as that means that the landowners are losing cloud, I'm happy. Let's see. What are the chances of passing the law? It's 
lie to her. That's good. Um, perhaps our government is gaining some legitimacy. In fact, it is not. Um, perhaps if we let it no. Interesting. So a government composed of intelligentsia and the evangelical church would be stronger. Now, nah, it would be just as strong as a government composed entirely of intelligentsia, which is fine with me. So let's keep it that way. We have a little bit more legitimacy, so that makes passing laws a little bit easier. As I understand, having more legitimacy means value 32%. Let's see. Government legitimacy measures how well the composition of interest groups in government fits with the country's laws. The lower the legitimacy, the longer the time between attempts to enact new laws. Raising a lower in taxes also has an impact on legitimacy. Right. The composition of the interest groups in government fits with the country's laws. So, ah, I always thought that it's more about how the interest groups themselves fit with each other. Right, quinine unlocked. Isolation of quinine allows it to be used as a most effective medicine against the harsh effects of malaria. Good. Let's take the opportunity to level up our colonial institution. And as you can see, we still get minus 90% from malaria. So what we're going to do now is just cancel. Wait, how can we do that? Right. We are supposed to be able to cancel this colonization, and so shall we do. Just how do we go about doing that? Right, being colonized by Liberia. Oh, here's our colony. What if we pause and unpause? Nope. As you can see, still messed up. Yep. Cancel and start again. Now, as you can see, it's just, just about 500 days, which is so much faster. Uh, now we have a little bit of research available, and I think that we're going to start focusing on mechanical tools. These are useful. All over board, we need to make sure our factories will be as productive as other factories in the world, so that we can ensure steady profits. I think expanding our furniture factories would be a good idea. Market, American market price report. Got away. Uh, Netherlands colonized Windward Coast. Oh no. Yeah, so they're expanding here slightly. I would like to expand that direction myself, but as I said last time, I need to kind of grab over these territories so I'm able to eventually conquer these four countries. I'm really looking out for Sierra Leone declaring a revolution, because they do that occasionally. Um, in that case, I would be able to take them over and the UK would have nothing against it. I wonder if that was a real person. Anyway, um, stock exchange unlocked. Um, all right, that will make our trade routes more effective. However, at the moment, we're just a part of the American market, so that does not change anything for us. Uh, the radicals are still on the rise. I'm really hoping that this time we'll get elected, uh, appointed bureaucrats, so that we can then move on, reducing the discrimination that we have in our country's laws. Who deserves the credit? Recent investments in Liberia towards our Malay farms has brought into question who should get the credit for boost investment. However, opinions seem to be split. The landowners deserve the credit. Hell no! The farmers? Find someone else to credit. Uh, I hate all three groups, but I guess the rural folk are okay. So let's give them the credit. Additionally, if I remember correctly, I am encouraging agriculture. I wish to stop that and encourage manufacturing instead. Brilliant. Quality of life has climbed up a bit. Let's see if we measure well to the American quality of life. Almost there. Amazing. Literacy is still quite low, but GDP per capita exploding as it is supposed to. I think one flaw with this game is that it's quite easy to start industrializing. You don't 
really need to... Oh, here we go. We now have appointed bureaucrats. Gain from changing to appointed bureaucrats. 25% intelligentsia political strength. So instead of making the landlords more strong, it will make the intelligentsia more strong. Which is good for us because we want a lot of laws passed at intelligentsia like. 25% taxation capacity does not really change much for us at the moment, but in the future it might be very influential as well. Right, so now that we have changed this law, let's look into changing some laws regarding how we... I wonder now if it would be most prudent to change the citizenship laws. Right. Yeah, I... 26% chance. What if we stop discriminating when it comes to religion? Also 26. Right, only one opponent really when it comes to that. Um, I'll go with uh, changing the citizenship law. I think that's more affecting the discrimination in the country right now. So, that's quite funny, but yeah, essentially racial segregation means that all pops that have the same origin, like for example, Afro-Americans, they have African heritage, so everybody who has the same heritage will essentially be part of the primary culture, which is what we're looking for. Um, I suppose if anyone from Europe moves in, then they will get discriminated, but I'm really not assuming that that will actually happen. So, yeah, in the African context, I guess the racial segregation means something else. I, I wish that Victoria developers would have some different system about how discrimination works, because, yeah, doesn't make sense. I don't think it would actually happen in an African con continent, but like in an African country, um, no matter where you look at, not in Kenya, not in South Africa, not in West Africa, nowhere. Um, but it is what it is. Well, that's how the game works. It's a little bit Eurocentrist in that regard. All right, we're almost gaining a little bit more of Guinea. Yeah, that's great. Uh huh. Standard of living decreased. Isn't that great? Um, so to improve the standard of living, I think we should start building the farms. And I think that's where we will have our autumn plantations. Perhaps no. We need logging camps instead. Right, so our intelligence is still going strong, industrialist strong, landowners collapsing completely. I think soon enough we, we will be able to cancel all of the laws that we don't like, particularly slavery. That's one of our long-term goals. I think we can almost say that we have achieved one of our long-term goals, which is to reduce the influence of landowners. Slavers. It is, of course, historically incorrect that Liberia starts with slavery illegal because it was most definitely, at least when it comes to laws, it was illegal from the start. So we're really correcting historical wrongs here. Um, mining accident. Right. A mine in Liberia has collapsed, trapping miners within the dark shaft below. The scale of the accident has made the tragedy a story across Liberia and the nation. Um, so this is a small price to pay. That will make industrialists more popular. Uh, this is outrageous abuse of the common man. That will make trade unions more popular. And these mines are applied upon men and countryside alike. That will make the rule folk really like me. Um, I'm gonna go with trade unions. Long term speaking, trade unions have those policies that we're looking towards. Um, such as, you know, welfare state and everything that improves the quality of living. For most people. Okay, uh, we're colonizing quite fast because we have level 3 colony growth now. I wish there was more of a uh, pop-up when one of your institutions actually level up, but that's not the case right now. Really happy to see the collapse of the landowner power. As you can see, 
they started from 50% and now they're down to 10. So that's five times weaker than they were before. Uh, let's see if we get more legitimacy. Yes, if we add industrialist, we get more legitimacy. Right now, they're not against really what we're trying to achieve here, so they're perfectly fine for us. Um, look at that. I wonder if there's anybody else who's... Nope. Yeah, so the church doesn't like this and the petite bourgeoisie doesn't like this. And that's not because they're pro-racial segregationists, because they're more pro-national supremacy. Because national supremacy means that essentially we're a very, very discriminating country. We're very stratified when it comes to culture. That's something I don't like personally. As a person, it also makes most of our countrymen radicals. All right, we now have racial segregation. Uh, plus 100 authority, shares uh, heritage cultural trait with any primary cultures. So now if we click on the culture tab, boom, every, every single people are a part of our great nation now without any question. And that's great. I really don't like the name once again this game makes you say words that you don't really like to use in everyday language though, doesn't it um okay now let's think about the next law we want to pass and i think that will be separation of church and state um because right now the evangelical church mostly gets its power from this if we go into freedom of conscience they will still have a lot of power even though it won't necessarily mean that. Hmm, interesting. I really like the 100 authority because as soon as I go total separation, I will lose my authority mana. So I need to think about that. But ah, who the hell cares? Let's go full. Let's not go halfway. Half measures are bad in this game because, you know, we're the government. We can decide what we want. It's kind of funny in this game because I'm, I guess I'm the president here, right? And he's a landowner. And I'm really going hard against landowners in this game. And he's kind of fine with that. It's, it's strange. He's not very popular. Ruler and politician. Yes, he is. Expensive tastes. Brave. Grifter. Oh, man, that's not a good president to have. Grifter. Oh, it's just sitting there in the presidential palace. Grifting. Okay, um, let's go with atmospheric engine. We want to improve the efficiency of our iron mines because it's kind of dropping lately. Um, then I will expand our iron mines and furniture manufacture. Let's see our, if our wood consumption is being met. Um, not at all. Not even close. What about hardwood consumption? Nope. Yes, actually, that, that one is being met. That's good. We can actually start using precision tools, but they will not make our factory more effective. So we'll just not do that. Let's see if it's using steel tools. Yes. Oh my god. That is perfect. Um, I think this is a call to start building our steel industry as well. That's what we're going to do. Um, total separation of church and state so far in progress. As we can see, Intelligentsia holding on to their 25% of clout. Industrialists losing a little bit. Um, landowners still on freefall. Uh, the church is regaining their clout a little bit. As we can see, Petit Bourgeoisie has indeed graduated into one of the interest groups and not marginalized groups. Um, they're not really somebody we want to work a lot with since they're very, very, as it puts here, uh, reactionary. Patriotic. So they want outlawed dissent, secret police, and a militarized police force, which I'm not really pro. Right. Um, a little bit more minting. What I like about minting. Minting is essentially your GDP being turned into hard cash. That really incentivizes you to increase your GDP. High tensions between Liberia and Mandinka. 
I've never seen these high tensions manifest into anything, so I'm not terribly worried about that. Now we just keep colonizing. It's going quite well. As soon as we're done colonizing... Oh, look at that. Turmoil in Sierra Leone. Now, if usually, usually when such small one province colonies rebel against the UK, they can't be bothered with fixing it. So I'm really hoping that the revolution will go well. Um, a discord within the armed forces. An influential faction within the armed forces has grown frustrated with their co-members' neutrality on the topic of total separation. Themselves in favor of the law, they have now resolved to form a separate political faction intent on passing it. Funnily enough, this won't actually form a political faction. But hey, with their support, the bill shall pass. The Intelligentsia extend their open hand to these mavericks. Right, so we can have 15% enactment chance, but I'm pretty sure this will get enacted. I really want the Intelligentsia to keep maintaining their strength. I wonder if uh, the university has anything to do with our Intelligentsia. Let's see. Um, they have employees. Well, how can I? Yeah, workforce. Cool. Academics. Intelligentsia. <laughs> I mean, of course, of course. I don't expect them to be industrialists. Um, clerks and laborers are politically inactive. Hopefully, once we pass a few laws, they're going to be a little bit more active. Uh, this usually happens because they're being discriminated against. And how can you blame them, really? Um, right. Loyalists are increasing. Actually, radicals are slowly starting to decrease. The decrease will be much sharper once we past the total separation between church and state law. Oh, we can move on now to iron frame buildings, which is, I think, something we should do. Building quicker is always good in my book. All right, our uh, melee farms reducing grain. Yeah. We will need to produce more. They're not unproductive, so I don't see anything wrong with that. What else do we have? Um, I suppose we can build one more here. At least it will give us the products. Unfortunately, we can't tax them because they're unincorporated while they're being colonized. And we cannot incorporate a a piece of land that we're actively colonizing either. So we're going to have to at least enjoy the fruits of their labor in the way of trading. Right. Oh, wow. It's the most effective tooling workshop in the world. That is a cause for expansion. The furniture factory, though? Nah. I don't quite understand why introducing more tools would uh, make it less effective. I suppose, do we actually use all of the tools? Not at all. Quite to the contrary, we probably export a lot of them. Aha, uh -huh, because it's a, an expensive good in the American market. Right. Oh, no. Bureaucratic embro. Leo in Broglio. Our lawmakers working towards the enactment of total separation have found themselves mired in a particularly complex set of bureaucratic proceedings, running the work towards reform to a near halt. Uh, damn this labyrinthine legal system. Or cut through at least some of the red tape. Let's cut. Although it really sucks that we're losing. Wait. What happened? Um, it didn't count? Okay, I'm not going to say anything about this. Now, let's see. There's groups working to overthrow the government. We're not afraid of revolution, as again, Daddy America is looking and watching all over us, and that sounds nasty. Um, they're looking after us, and they will come and bust us out in case there's a revolution, so I'm not terribly worried about that. Oh, look at that. Um, we're going really negative when it comes to our reserves. Let's see if we can uh, make something happen with our taxes here. Yeah, I'm fine with high taxes. I just... Because interest 
when it gets big, it really hurts. Um, perhaps yeah, we can spend less on our construction endeavors. Right. So we have invented the atmospheric engine. Um, let's see, do we require railways already? Almost. So let's let's just get those railways done as soon as possible. And now that we have the atmospheric engine, um, we can have more effective mines. Here we go. Just a tiny bit effective. And the atmospheric engine is complete. Uh, the atmospheric engine. Through the right... Oh! Through the widespread introduction of the atmospheric engine in the mining industry, productivity is an all-time high. Um, productivity is an all-time high. Yep, if you're a capitalist, it is. Um, this is a great implication. Uh, this has great implications for transport. Gosh, I can't read anymore. Uh, Liberia gets 2,500 progress on technology railways. Let's do that because I want railways as soon as possible. Um, Still number one tooling workshop in the world. Hashtag proud. Uh, I would like to cash in on that as soon as possible. Let's see how revolution is doing. They're not progressing. They're, they're at a halt. And I'm fine with that. Um, okay, so the trade unions have graduated into an interest group as well. And that means that they want to enact poor laws. I suppose basic welfare. Okay, so getting the trams and hobos off our streets and into the workhouses is well worth the cost. What does that mean? Does that mean we give welfare? Yes, it does. Okay, um, we're slowly expanding in the Guinea region, which is great. It doesn't look like the European powers will contest us. Um, so what I was afraid of is that since the United States are the overlord of Liberia, they usually uh, treat West Africa as one of their interest zones. Let's see if they do now. Yes, they do. And that ends up meaning that they will try to colonize it. But I think... Maybe they changed it a little bit so that they stopped colonizing Africa and maybe focus more on the American continent, which is great for us. That's less competition. Okay, let's see what we have here. Public address goes already. Ooh. Yeah, this law is not going great so far. Uh, what was meant as a routine speech about the merit of total separation by Samuel Jasper has quickly turned, uh, has quickly devolved into a public relations disaster for intelligentsia. Okay, so is it the proposal's fault or is it Samuel Jasper's fault? And I say it's Samuel Jasper. Should have thought it through. I really need this law to pass. If it goes anywhere worse from here, then I will try to go halfway, then it's better than nothing. Paranoid slave owners. <laughs> A large uprising seems unlikely, but the slaveholders are paying close attention to even the small attempt at revolt. Well, you should, because everybody hates you. Um, the first moment I have, I will help you. Um, will complete if less than 5% of all pops in Liberia are radicals. Oh man, I'm not I'm not cleaning this up. If, if they do revolt, then I'm fine with that. I'm not going to even try to fight the slave revolt. So, go ahead. I'm not going to try and fix your shit. Okay. Says me, Shadrach Whitehurst, the president and a landowner. Um, let's see, yes, so Intelligentsia and the Industrialists are so far the strongest interest groups and I think Landowners are continuing to tank. That's where we where we want them to be until we... Oh! Hey, 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 visiting abolitionist, right. Uh, Leonard Glover from the Petite Bourgeoisie has been touring Liberia and Guinea recently, both gathering testimonies for 
and propagating the abolitionist cause. Slaveholders in the state view this as an attempt to agitate the violent revolt among slaves and demand Glover to be expelled from the state at once. Well, family concerns, Glover's a troublemaker. Now, nah, speaking about liberty and justice must always be permitted. And of course, that's what we believe. I just don't understand what that means. Okay, slave pops will become more radical. Yes, they should be. Uh, the bourgeoisie gets the abolitionist influence. Listen, if they're abolitionist, they are abolitionist. But reactionary. But abolitionist. But reactionary. But abolitionist. I like that. I like that. Oh, the play for power. We right. Uh... Abraham Pierce, the leader of trade unions, has made a remarkable play for power in the capital in order to secure a spot for trade unions within the government. However, it's not entirely clear if they should be rewarded for their novel tactics. Okay. Oh, yeah, of course, he should be recognized for it. Uh, we want uh, the trade unions to be stronger, even though they really hate us. Um, for a good reason, I suppose. Railways unlocked. That is amazing news. We will begin building railways immediately. Now, what else do we want? Um, would we? Yes, we need the mechanized workshops. But since we're going to be making steel, let's uh, invent the best similar process. And I'm very happy that we're actually inventing intensive agriculture on the side as well. Since we do have a little bit of itsy bitsy agriculture going on. That is a shame. We used to be so productive with these tooling workshops, but it is what it is. Um, so far, it looks like our steel workshop, though, is showing good numbers when it comes to productivity, and that's good. Okay, let's see if we do get the law passed, and if we do, then we can end this episode here. Oh, because we will reach one of our short-term goals, which is ending discrimination in the country. As you can see so far, all of those groups that are not Protestant are way more radical. Except for deer law for some reason. Oh, there's very few of them anyway. The largest group, crew, they're animist and they're discriminated for it. So that's not something that, you know, is grounds for a stable country, I suppose. Oh, rule of folk are happy with us. No, they're not out there unhappy with us. I'll get real. Minus 10% technology spread. All right, still spreads though. Intensive agriculture unlocked. This will make our agricultural endeavors more effective. Soil enriching farming. Oh, nationalism unlocked. Who am I? It is a key question that runs to the hearts of the identity of a person. In times past, people have said that they're from a province, a town, or even a family as an expression of that identity. A new ideas wait one a new idea has developed <clears throat> uh, that transcends these notions and instead see identity as something that is shared amongst the nation. What is more, the nation should be united into a single country. That is cool. Also, nobody was happy a hundred years later that nationalism become a thing. So yep. Right, opposition members put forth demand. Uh, more pragmatically inclined members of the armed forces currently opposed to the passing of total separation have offered to change their stance, were they to be offered certain political concessions. Such concessions would not be popular with intelligentsia, however. Uh, acquiesce to their demands or not? Of course, yes. Let's see if we do get that law passed. The revolution is brewing. 
colonization is going quite well. We're colonizing the Mandinka territory quite deeply. Once we're done with that, we will try to move on to the coast. Almost done with removing all sorts of discrimination in our country. Um, the industrialization is going very, very well, and we even have a functional university in the country. So everything is going great. Um, literacy is on the rise. Standard of living is all right. Population improving. Radicalism quite high, but soon it's going to be all right. And look at that, our GDP improving as well from number 100 in the world. We're now 38th. So, so far, amazing progress. We could say we're leaping forward. See you next time.